right, too. Dre here. In this video, I'm talking about EcoBoost haters. They are really easy to spot because they're going to say dumb stuff about them. They're going to criticize EcoBoosts. The only the only the only thing you can say about an EcoBoost that's truth is to say V6s don't sound like V8s. That's the only thing, that's the only argument you have. Some people try to say that they don't get the fuel economy that Ford said it would. Very few cars will get the fuel economy that the makers say they will. Very few cars. Um... I haven't I haven't driven a 3.5 long enough to do in the fuel, fuel economy check but the 2.7 why it don't get what well it, it get close to it I looked at my window sticker the other day um, it said 19 city 26 highway okay I've gotten it I've almost gotten to 19 I've gotten um, the other day I got 18.8 but that really wasn't city. That was more mixed. I um, I do regularly get 18, which is not too far from 19. Uh, I haven't gotten to 26. I've gotten 22, doing um, 65 miles per hour. But I did get this truck for fuel economy. That's the reason I got the two point. I mean the um, EcoBoost. I wanted power, but I wanted fuel economy. I want. As I was saying, I wanted power and I wanted some fuel economy. That's why I bought the 2.7. Uh, I have a couple neighbors have asked me, uh, damn, uh, Adrian, this is beautiful truck you have. Um, I love the color. Is it a V8? And I said, no, it's a V6. And you can see the, the face of like, why you get, I mean, how did big old truck come V6? And I tell them it's a twin turbo V6. And when you tell a person who not well familiar with turbos that is a turbo, they still question you. They still look like super mother. He's stupid. Well, that's because anybody who have owned a turbocharged car, anybody who have owned, anybody who've driven a turbocharged car for any length of time, will tell you they will haul ass. I mean, even. Probably the slowest um, car with a turbo I drove was probably the Hyundai Scoop a long time ago. I, I know y'all like, Hyundai Scoop? What the hell is a Hyundai Scoop? Well, Google it. They made a Hyundai Scoop turbo. I met a gay fella one night that had one, and he let me drove it. And it was something wrong with his. He had crashed it or something, messed up something, and it wasn't running right. But it was still running. You could feel the turbo. I mean, it wasn't really, really strong, but you could feel it. And let me take that back. I just said anybody who drive a turbo can feel it. Toyota had a um, turbo truck uh, back in like late to mid '80s. I drove. I drove a King Cab automatic. That was the first one I drove, and then I drove a four x four five speed. Them was the weakest turbocharged cars I had ever driven. I mean, you could feel the turbo, but you just barely felt it. As a matter of fact, I think the horsepower on the truck was like a normal fuel-injected Toyota 2.4. I think they had like, I want to say they had like 120 horsepower, I think. And the turbo, I think, the turbo made like 127. Can you believe that? I think it was like 127 horsepower. But it was supposed to have had 175 pound-feet of torque, which back then was a pretty decent amount of torque. And the truck, they did see, I mean, you did feel the turbo, but it wasn't something that made you smile. I, like I said, I drove an automatic. And the, the automatic, I tried power-breaking the damn thing. The turbo would not come on. 
it had a I think it had a 2000 RPM stall the turbo didn't kick in it's a 25 so you could power break that some bitch all day long the turbo would not come on it would not come on until you got the rolling and the engine reach about 25 the turbo would come on then and it's so funny I if I remember correctly they put a freaking light on the tack armor to let you know when the turbo come on like wow you damn needed a light to, to feel it you needed a light but uh anyway coming up um 280z i, I think i've told this video before, this story before 280z was my first turbocharged car i drove and you felt you felt the 280zx believe me you felt the boost on that son of a bitch and that wasn't even in a cool wasn't even in a cool but getting back to the eco boost and i'm way way off subject but no actually i'm not but anyway people i mean i was reading something online the other day some guy mentioned that his friend had a 3.5 eco boost and he drove it and the engine sucked it didn't have no power it didn't have no acceleration ration and i'm sitting there reading it i'm like this fool did not drive a 3.5 because <clears throat> you can't help but feel the acceleration so i mean he is either lying or he's stupid i test drove a ford fusion that was the first EcoBoost I drove, Ford Fusion. It was when they first come, I think it was 2000, I think it was 2015 or 16. Uh, it was when they dropped down to the 1.5 four cylinder EcoBoost. You know, I was like, man, I've got to drive. I got to see what a 1.5 EcoBoost feel like. I've never driven an EcoBoost. <clears throat> I don't remember hearing boost. I don't remember hearing the turbo. I do remember feeling the power. To me, it felt like a large four-cylinder. A lot large. I mean, I'm not when I say large, I don't mean 2.0. I mean like a 2.7 or 2.8 four-cylinder. That's what it felt like. Um, I mean, I I think the salesman went with me. Yeah, he went with me, but I did I did get on it pretty hard. I think I might have gotten up to 70. And under power is not a word. Weak is not a word. It's just not a word you use. That's why I'm saying whenever you read something about somebody saying that they drove an EcoBoost, I don't know about the little small 1.3, all that. I don't know about those. But <clears throat> I'm pretty sure any EcoBoost will haul ass. I'm pretty sure of that. So whenever you hear somebody, say, especially a truck, when you hear somebody say something about, oh, they was weak, they was slow, they they lying. They ain't drove no damn eagle boots. But anyway, that's all I got to talk about. Um, I'm just saying, I just get so sick of these damn people lying. I, and the funny thing is, this person, I clicked on their name to see what they had on their page. No subscribers, no videos, damn completely whitewashed page. And I'm like, yeah, there's some young ass boy pretending to be grown. And funny part, he says he has a 2017, um, what do you call that thing? Ford Raptor. And I'm like, yeah, right. Whatever, motherfucker. You say so. But anyway, it just, it just tripped me out. You know, it just tripped me out. And, he, and some, the funny part is if you look around, you might find these same people <clears throat> on a page talking about the 300 it's got massive torque the 300 Ford inline 6 is what I'm talking about it is so funny so damn funny man this is Dre y'all have a good day I gotta go